Sanji, would you please hand me the wrench with a 12 on it? 12, 12... Oh, here it is! That's the one. Thank you. Hey, you can go play in the mess hall if this is boring. I'm sure someone there would love to hang out with you. Then again, they'd probably fight over you. It seems everyone likes having you around. You're like the guardian angel of this ship. Angel? It means you're beautiful, inside and out. <gasps> nuh uh, Riley! You're the prettiest on the ship! Outside and in! Aw, that's what makes you so sweet. <sighs> I wish we could keep you aboard forever. But not all dreams come true. Do I have to get off the boat? Not now, but eventually, yes. This ship is headed for the front lines of battle. We can't just take a little girl into a combat zone. I'm sure the captain will take good care of you. Maybe drop you off at the next port. Hopefully you can get your memories back by then. My memories? Are you scared to remember? I understand. Not all memories are happy ones. But it's sad that you can't remember the people you love. Love? Like family, and friends. Maybe even a boyfriend. <gasps> oh, I'm pulling your leg. Come on, we've still got a lot of repairs to do. Let's see... The Ragnaline Chamber's been looking unstable. I assume it's just wear and tear, but I guess I'll have to shut everything down and test it first. Hmm, fall five, I think. Huh? It says it's tired and stressed out. Huh. Oh, you're right. Bell five does look pretty worn. Angie, you... you really are an angel. <laughs> How'd she figure it out? That would have taken me hours. Riley! I thought you were watching Angie. She's having her checkup at the sick bay. Good timing. The captain has decided what to do with her. <laughs> oh, so it's already settled. Wish we could have had a little more time together. No, no, you got it all wrong. Angie's not going anywhere. Huh? She'll be staying aboard for now. The captain wants you to look after her. But that means Angie could get caught in the crossfire. That's what I said. We're already knee-deep in enemy territory, to say nothing of the cold. But the captain determined that if she leaves now, we can't guarantee her safety. Still, he didn't seem too keen on the idea himself. It felt like something was weighing on him. Like what? Sorry, I couldn't really get that out of him. In any case, I want you to keep her safe. That goes without saying. Until her memories return and she's back home. I'll protect her. It's my responsibility. Oh, that settles that. I'll go tell Angie the good news. Hey, wait. I need to ask you about... Wow. She's completely smitten. Very good, Angie. Splendidly done. <laughs> Doctor, how's Angie? Riley! Angie, you... Wait, what's that smell? Blood? What happened? Are you hurt? Um, well... <laughs> Not to worry, Riley. Angie's in perfect health. We just treated a soldier who shot himself in the foot. 
It was an emergency, and we're understaffed, so Angie assisted me with the operation. I was his helper. You helped treat a bullet wound? That's amazing. She was a little scared of the blood, of course. She was very brave and calm the whole time. That girl really is an angel. Even when I was covered in blood and panicking, she just held my hand and smiled. Thanks to her, I managed to work through the pain, and this damn quack barely gave me any anesthetics. I'll take that as a compliment. That reminds me, I need to disinfect your wound. Let me get the strong stuff. Ah! Stay away from me, you bad man! Sergio, you're scaring him! <laughs> Merely a joke, Angie. Would you mind disinfecting his foot then? Apparently only you can make him feel better. Okie dokie! <laughs> We've got ourselves a little nurse on staff. Angie... Pardon me, is Angie here? Angie's at the sick bay right now. Is there something I can help you with? Oh, I just wanted a hand peeling the potatoes. Uh, can you let me know when she gets back? Sure, no problem. Hey, Angie! Oh, Riley! It's just you. Angie's helping out in the galley. Well, I'm on laundry duty, so I was wondering if she'd like to join me. Yeah, I'll tell her. Angie, I've got some candy drops for you. <sighs> Whoops, sorry, Riley. I was hoping you were someone else. Oh, well, I'll just wait here until... Get! Angie, Angie, that's all anyone can say. I want to play with her too, you know. If this keeps up, I'll never get to see her. <sighs> no, Angie's not here. Uh, Riley? It's me. <gasps> Angie! S sorry about that. Come on in. I played with so many people today. Seriously, everyone's pulling you left and right. Don't be afraid to tell them no, all right? But I want to help now. Except now you're really tired, aren't you? I can tell. Mm. You're still recovering. Don't push yourself so hard. Sorry I worried you. But... But what? I don't remember anything about before. So I want to make new memories with everyone here. Angie... Oh, but I'm okay. I feel fine. And everyone gives me treats when I help. I ate a lot of candy. Then I think it's someone's bedtime. Okie dokie. Oh, but don't forget to brush your teeth. Oh, okay. Memories. Huh. Making memories? Yep. We're going to give Angie a night she'll never forget. Something she can remember us by, even after her amnesia's cured. Who knows what else she'll remember? I don't know why, but I get the impression that girl feels pressured by something. Yeah, you may have a point there. She's always running around trying to assist anyone she bumps into. Last time, I saw her helping Andre in the engine room. He was impressed by how quickly she picked things up. Yes, I know. She may have potential as a nurse, but 
that she'd make an amazing mechanic one day. She's a smart girl, and a hard worker to boot. That's part of her charm. It's no wonder the whole crew is head over heels for her. I think she's worried about her amnesia, though. She does all these chores to distract herself from it. So, will you help me? It's not like we got anything better to do. You gonna tell us the plan or what? Mm-hmm. Drumroll, please. God, it's cold. Can anyone remind me why we're throwing a summer festival in the dead of winter? Quit whining. Come on, at least try to look happy. Here she comes. Um, I saw the note to come to the mess hall and... Happy Feast of All Spirits, Angie! All spirits is a Gallian holiday to show our love for the spirits of the earth. It's also a day when we give presents to people we love. Oh, really? But I didn't bring anything. That's fine. All that matters is that you have fun. So here, start us off, Raz. I got you something real good. The finest bacon from Einhemd. Um, it smells kind of funny. Huh? Einhemd? How many months ago was that? That's too bad. Maybe jerky would have lasted this long. You really thought rotting meat would make a good present? Well, Your turn, Kai. Here you go. And this is... a bullet. Don't you think that's dangerous for a kid? Made it myself. It opens up into a medicine bottle. I put a home remedy for upset stomachs in there. So you could even eat spoiled bacon and be just fine. Okay, next. Your turn, Claude. Uh, sorry. This was the best I could do on short notice. It's special stationery the Navy uses in the control room. Wow, it's so pretty! Writing nourishes the brain, so maybe it can help you get your memories back. Hmm. That was actually pretty thoughtful. For Claude? And last but not least, it's my turn. All that build-up for this? It's just a standard-issue army jacket. Oh, well, yeah. But it's one of my cute ones. And I altered it to fit Angie. Here, try it on. So warm. A little big on me, but... Squad, this mission wasn't exactly like our usual ones, but I think it went pretty well. I'd say it went fantastic. You got that right. <laughs> I love you, Riley. I love you too, Angie. Chapter 12, Midnight Run.